quiet? Yeah, just thinking. Let's not go easy on Aidan in your best man's speech. Uh, best woman's speech. And trust me, he's getting it right between the eyes. <laughs> uh, what are you two plotting? Never you mind, Connor. <laughs> what are you wearing? Just a little black dress I found in my wardrobe. But I had it, actually. Not one yet. Well, at least we're getting our hair done. Mm -hmm. Who's doing yours? Done. Ah, oh, I'll see you in there. You all right? Hey, what are you doing here so early? Just checking you're OK. Oh, that's sweet of you. <laughs> Should be a laugh later, shouldn't it? Oh, I'm not coming. Maria dumped me. Oh, you're joking. I thought that was going well. You know, she was dead nice about it. But I can't exactly turn up on the Todd. I was her plus one. Well, I'll tell you what, come with me. Really? Yeah, you can be my plus one. Maria won't care, will she? Oh, I doubt it. And I guess you and I are both single. <laughs> Shall I uh, pick you up in a couple of hours? Maybe we can have some lunch on the way or something. Oh, do you know what? I'm I'm going to be right to the wire today. I've got loads of stuff to do. I tell you what, I'll I'll drop you a text later, yeah? Sure. Hmm. Well, I'd like to see each other before the wedding. I'll do one, will you? Kiwi, good luck you two. Oh, thank you. And to you, it's your competition thing today, isn't it? Oh, it is indeed. Yes. <laughs> Just think, in a few short hours, you'll be Mr. and Mrs. Connor. <laughs> then it will. We'll be Mr. and Mrs. Weatherfield. Mm -hmm. Right, you. Come on. I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later, Mrs. Connor. Mm. <laughs> not yet, I'm not. <laughs> uh, where are you going? I thought we were going to get ready together. Oh, the hospital. Rita's still there. Jenny won't leave her side. Well, she'll have to. She wants to get wet. Listen, I'm not going to be able to make it to the wedding. All oh, right, is uh, Liam still poorly? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Wanted you to be a big part of today. Mm. Well, I just came to wish you all the best. I bet you did. All I'm saying is, with you, me, Sean, Eva at the wedding, that just leaves Sarah tonight. Well, it's Monday. It won't be busy. Yeah, well, if she needs to, you know, go the loo. Look, I don't mind slipping back after the meal. It's oh, fine. Oh, look, Peter, there isn't going to be a wedding. What? Well, I don't know what Jenny's doing with Rita being ill, but Eva is going to tell Aidan to do one at the altar. Uh, sorry, love, I'm, I'm completely lost here. He's been having an affair with Maria. What? Yeah, so when he stood up there, all smug in front of everyone, she's going for the full slash and burn. What about the baby? Oh, you are joking me. There's no baby. No baby, no wedding. I bought a new pair of shoes for this. Oh, love, I know. I'm sorry, I should have told you before, but I've not long known myself. Well, this must have been going on for months. <sighs> Hang on. I saw a scan of the baby. Yeah, off the internet. What a complete waste of everybody's time and money. Hey, he deserves everything he's got coming to him. I've been here all night. Where else would it be? Oh, I don't know, love. Hey. I've just used the shower down the corridor. Nurse says it's all right if you go now. No, I'm all right. Quick squirt and some chewy will do me. You do still want to get married, don't you? Don't mind me. Of course I do, you great Wally. Mm. Besides, Rita would kill me if I didn't. We're just waiting for the MRI results. Let me go and see if she's awake. She's gone! Have you looked everywhere? My where? Under the bed. Norris, will you put that thing away? It's not easy trying to remember all the details of a fake marriage. I mean, what if they try and trip us up? Well, why would they try and trip us up? It's a light-hearted competition, not an unsolved murder. Just stick to the facts of our relationship like we agreed. I'm sorry, I'm that, I'm that nervous. We should eat. We don't want our sugar levels dropping catastrophically mid-anecdote. 
not fear. I mean, the prices they must charge these so-called media types. I, I bet Amy Holmes thinks nothing of paying five pounds for a poached egg. Did you not hear the lady in reception? It's free when you flash your lanyard. Oh, really? Oh, I wonder if they have croissants. <sighs> Allow me. Don't tell me. Mm. Mary Cole, 47, married. Favourite colour, burnt ochre. Favourite drink, Tanqueray and Tango. Favourite film, 12 Years a Slave or anything, where Tom Hardy takes his top off. Oh, are you psychic? No, but if you're having a brew, I'm quite happy to have a bash at the tea leaves. <laughs> Well, are you here with anybody? Colin Callan, head of marketing, News Co. Sponsors of this wonderful competition. And as you can see, I've done my homework. Oh, hello, Colin. I'm Mary. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> but of course, you already know that. Yes. <laughs> nervous? A little bit. Colin doesn't do nervous. Oh, is he one of the husbands? <laughs> I'm Colin. Yeah, yes, I know you just said. And this one must be yours. Oh, for my sins. Norris Cole. Age, Jurassic. Pet likes unusually shaped vegetables and water skiing, pet peeves, shoplifters, and tense silences. Well, uh, not quite. Uh, he's a news agent. I <laughs> know, just pulling your plonker. <laughs> Uh, and quite a thriving business it is, too. I mean, I know print's meant to be a dying medium, but nobody seems to have told our customers that. <laughs> <laughs> and here he is, the man of the moment. Oh. Colin Callan, head of marketing, News Co, Manchester, Planet Earth, the universe. Really? Oh, it's an honour to meet you. You see, you see I, I, I'm a news agent. Yes, I know. I used to have a chain of news agents myself. So you know it from both sides. Fascinating. <laughs> you don't have your shops anymore? No, uh, my ex-wife does. Oh, I know that story. And insult to injury. She changed him into a string of yoghurt shops. Yoghurt? Yes. And this is in Oldham. Sometimes I think the world's gone completely mad. <laughs> uh, Colin, I think you and I are going to get on marvellously. So do I, Norris. So do I. Have <laughs> huh? you been sleeping with them this whole time? No. No, it, it was a one-off. What about the factory? We can't just call it off. Right, I'm not doing. Eva, what is it you want? Because this is what Aidan does. He lies, he cheats, he manipulates. He did it last night and he's doing it now. These guys have got lined up for the factory. They're not just a bunch of boy scouts. I can't just pull out because Aiden's playing you for a fool again. I haven't changed my mind. Last night was a mistake. Are you sure? Because once I give this guy the keys, there's no going back. No going back. Come on, then. Your texts are the urgent. I'm not going to come to the wedding. Good idea. But there's something that you need to know. Eva and Adam... Oh, please. Talk about desperate. You say anything, you. Aidan, I'm trying to tell oh, you... Oh, Maria! Will you get it through your head? I love Eva. We're getting married today. I haven't got time for any more of your games. OK, fine. Forget it. Go and get married. I hope you have the most spectacular day. How do you lose a patient? It's a human being, yeah. It's not sunglasses or your virginity. She's not in there. I'll check the box. I'm sorry, Johnny. I, I just can't leave without knowing she's all right. I know, I know. Thank you. I mean it. And if anything has happened to her, anything at all, I suggest you and this place prepare for the apocalypse because I will be coming for you. You've 
say you hate him, you've done all this planning, why would you sleep with him? He was just being so nice. It was like old times. You're still in love with him? Of course she's not. <sighs> I don't know. You don't know? You're just about to jilt him at the altar. Oh, Eva, just call it off. You could, oh, I don't know, you could say you've lost the baby or something. But that's an awful thing to do. Oh, what, worse than pretending to be pregnant in the first place? Look, you've got the car, you've got the flight, just, just end it now, call it off. You were talking about me, weren't you? Yeah, you got it written all over your faces. What are you doing here, babes? Charger. I need to call my dad. Uh, I'll just pop this in the freezer. I saw Maria before. She can't come to the wedding. Liam's still poorly. Oh, well. As long as my number one girl's there, that's all that matters. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't resist. Right. I'll see you at the altar. Gorgeous. Yeah. Did you see the look on his face when you said Maria wasn't coming? Yeah. Thinks he's got it all sussed him, doesn't he? Just a shame Maria won't be there to see it. Plan's still on, guys. Can't wait to see him squirm up there in front of everyone. Yeah, well, you can do it without me. Maria's got the right idea. What? Do you know what? You've totally lost the plot. And I've got better things to do in my time than watch you make a fool of yourself in front of the old street. Doing this to us is still out there. Well, oh, love, like I said, it's me that we're after. How do you know that? Well, nothing's happened since I've been in here, right? No. It's over, sweetheart. I'm sure of it. I hope you're right. Look, you just got to try and forget all this stuff. It's ancient history. Go to the wedding and enjoy yourself, please. For me. I feel like a proper celebrity having my makeup done. I mean, this must be what Angela Rippon feels like. I don't see why we have to have makeup and it's just for radio. Press, Norris. Press. I mean, after all, that's our bread and butter, you and me, eh? It is indeed, yes. Will this be going in the Gazette? And online, my love. This is pure clickbait. Would I be able to have my makeup done as well? Your face looks fine with whatever you've got on it now, love. But I haven't got any makeup on. Well, haven't you been blessed? Look, there's uh, a couple of Scotch eggs left over on the buffet. Go on, treat yourself. I must say, Norris, you're as calm as a cucumber. You're obviously an old hand at the media game. Not, not, not really, no. Really? Never done radio or telly before? No, but I was a medal bearer at the Commonwealth Games, actually. Really? A and as a child, I was in the crowd once of It's a Knockout. <laughs> that must have been a thrill. Oh, it was. Mother was competing with her local WI group, and a big moment came when she had to dress up as a 12-foot milkmaid and fill these enormous canisters with milk whilst coming down the slide. Did she win? Sadly, no. But on the bright side, that's when we discovered she was lactose intolerant. Long before it was fashionable. Mm. Right. I can have this couple. I there, want you please. two front and center, either side of me in the photographs. Oh, come on. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. We'll, we'll do this, and I'll give Gemma a ring. See how Rita's Brilliant. doing. Don't get smart. I've seen this state of the other couples. I don't know who ever dug them up. Left it ten years too late. <laughs> come on. All right, hey, hey, come on, not too close. Let the dog see the rabbit. You, my friends, are what's known in the business as the money shot.
Not late, am I? Just in time, love, I'd say. Right. Well, we'd best get started. Entertaining the troops. Well, shall we get you back to your room? My dressing room. <laughs> hey, maybe we could play again, love. What's your name? Rita. Oh. Rita Littlewood. What's your name? Here she is, eh? Weatherfield Nightingale? Yes, that's me. I know. It says on that poster in your bag. Um. Love, I'm so sorry. Hey, sweetheart, don't worry about it, really. Rita's more important than any wedding. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, and I need some borrowed. Uh, yeah, and I've got a garter upstairs left over from a Moulin Rouge party. <laughs> You're really going all out with this you, aren't you? Well, you can't stop here, cos Aidan's meeting me in, like, seconds. Oh, oh right, go on. In the back, you. Chop, chop. <laughs> hey, love. I'm gonna stay here. Hey? Well, it's a farce, isn't it? I mean, you know, what's the point? And I thought I might take sight of the movies. There's a couple of good films on. Uh, I thought you were worried about Sarah being on her own here. Uh, she'll be fine. <sighs> Bloke, say, what on earth do we see in you? What, is she OK? What's happened? <sighs> Dad, look, it, it's fine. Just tell Jenny not to worry. Yeah, and uh, send me to our love, yeah? We'll see you in a bit. Right, bye. Did you still at the hospital? Yeah, but Rita won't walk about. He's not sure they're going to make it. So I was asked if me and Eva can go first. That'll give him a chance at least. Well, she's in the back waiting for the car with Toya, so I'll let her know. Cheers, sis. But first, I'd like to propose a toast, seeing as I've got my brother all to myself for once. Sure. <laughs> I just want to say how proud I am of you. Everything you've done with the factory. Now I'm marrying Eva. All right, give over. I met your girlfriends over the years. You were such a player before you met her. Sometimes wondered if you're ever going to settle down. But oh, you were like that story in that book we had when we were growing up. Aesop's Fables, remember it? And with all the beautiful pictures. I remember The one with the dog with the bone. Yeah, he's on the bridge, he's looking down in the river and sees his reflection. And because he thinks it's another dog with a bone, he wants both. It opens his mouth, tries to get it, and drops the bone in the water. <laughs> Left with nothing. That wasn't that bad. Oh, soon we forget. Well, you're marrying the perfect woman. And you're going to have the perfect marriage. Mum would be so proud. I've got to sort something. Hey? I won't be long, yeah? Well, where are you going? Just give me two minutes. You shouldn't be in here. There's a wedding on. No, I know, yeah. Um, I'm a bridesmaid. I just fancied a little sneaky peek. Shh, don't tell anyone, will you? Eva. Uh, no, you, you can't come in. She's got a dress on. Uh... <gasps> what? Aidan, what are you doing here? Look, can you uh, give us some privacy? Please, sorry, I just need a few minutes. Aidan. <laughs> Please. What's all this about? Aidan, you're worrying me now. Yeah. 
You know how much I love you, right? You and our baby. Yeah. I can't walk down the aisle with the most beautiful, perfect woman on my arm. I'm not perfect. Far from it. Well, to me, you are. Which is why I've got to tell you the truth. I, uh, I can't start our married life together with a lie. Even though what I'm about to tell you is going to hurt you, all I can do is beg you to try and forgive me. Hayden. I cheated on you. And I hate myself. What? Look, I am so sorry. Please, Eva, you have to forgive me. Please. Please. Coronation Street's back in half an hour. Wow. Your timing. I know. I thought I could live with a lie. I deserve to live with a lie, but I respect you too much. Respect? It was Maria. My best mate. Wow. If I could put the clock back. How long? Come on, Aiden. The cat's out the bag now. How long? A year. Look, look, don't. Look, I ended it the minute you said you were pregnant. My hero. Look, she's the biggest mistake I ever made. Come on. I just want to marry you. I want to raise our baby. I want to have a great life together. Who else knew? Just Dad. Come off it. Kate, Jenny, Michelle. No, no, just Dad. Look, and don't hold it against him. He was in a lose-lose. Oh, please. Please give me a second chance. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. What are you doing to me? Look, look, I am sorry. Baby, I am so sorry. I just don't want to start married life on the line. I want our vows to mean something. Yeah. I've cheated and I've lied. But we can get through this. Our love, cherish you and our baby. Our baby, okay? Every single day. No more lies. No more secrets. I, uh, I know I'm not fit enough to lick your boots, but I'll be waiting for you at the bottom of that aisle. Just hoping and praying you'll give me a second chance. Breaking you. I've moved you. Oh, shit. What's wrong? What's happened? I came out of the prison and there was a white rose on her windscreen. Prison? I went to see Robert. Right. What kind of sicko would do that? Leave a white rose? It was Rory's special flower. <laughs> we scattered his ashes in the sea, and every time I go back to the beach, I leave him a white rose. I can see why you're so freaked out. 
You have us do this in such a violation. You must have fallen me all the way there. It's just not as bad as I thought. He ended it ages ago when they weren't all in on it. OK, well, that's good. I mean, it turns out you weren't a laughing stock. He's Marty, will you? I've been a complete cow, especially to Jenny. She'll live. The whole reason I asked for a double wedding is so I could... so I could punish the lot of him. Well, his timing stinks. He says he loves me. I believe him. But how will you ever be able to trust him? He has just said everything that I wanted to hear. How much he loves me. How sorry he is. How much he's looking forward to being... a dad. He'd make a great dad one day. You've got to tell him. The fake pregnancy isn't going to go away. You know what? I'll jump off that bridge when it comes to it. Here's what you could have won. The numpty. The plan. I can't go through with that plan. What? I'm gonna marry Aidan for real. He's confessed to the affair. Oh, well, if he's confessed. That took guts. Aidan shows a tiny bit of conscience at 11th hour and you think he's a changed man. Maria, it was a mistake. Yeah, a mistake he enjoyed making over and over again. Thanks. I'm sorry, that was cruel. I just hate the fact that he's hurt you. That you're settling for someone who's so unworthy of you. Eva. You take my breath away. We love each other. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. So please, Adam, pull the plug on everything. It's off. It's too late. They've got the keys. Adam, I mean it. The deal is off. It's not that simple. They're a long time at that hot chocolate machine. I hope they're not squabbling. I think Jenny needed a bit of a breather. She looked as if she'd been crying. She was upset earlier when you didn't recognise her. Oh, no. I don't even remember forgetting. She'll be fine. More than with you at her side. I wish I could say the same for Gemma. Oh, I, I know she's a handful, but, you know, she has a heart of gold. And it would be such a weight off my mind if I knew you'd keep her on the straight and narrow. We don't need to be having this conversation. You're going nowhere. Is that a no? Don't jump the gun with your scan results. You could outlive me by years. But if I don't... Then I promise, if and when you're not able to, I'll keep an eye out for Miss Prima Donna. Oh, thank you. And if you could possibly manage to get her to cover a midriff, well, you'd be a better man than me, Gunga do. <laughs> Jenny's gone the bog. Thank you. Forget about today. Wedding, shwedding. We just want to get you out of the woods. Who's he kidding? Wedding, shwedding. Now, I have a very important errand for you, madam. Guys are always late, right? That's the law with you, Hat Rose. It's good to see you nervous, Captain Laidback. <sighs> Would you rather sit on the engines? Oh, yeah, it's fine. You're doing brilliant, you know. You reckon? We didn't think we were going to get you out the front door. 
Oh, me neither. Hey, what's with his swaps is then? Do you reckon Johnny's got cold feet? No. He's nuts about her, innit? Yeah, no, they're um, they're up at the general, Marita. Uh, oh, poor Rita. I'm gonna give the reception a miss and go up to the hospital. Why don't they just hand out a few drinks? Oh, like a five-minute wait is gonna kill you. Got me nervous now. Something up. I hope not. It's mm. absolutely perfect. I just wish Lee was here now. It's a real wedding. Yeah, I'll try her again in a minute. She'll be good to miss this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have you by the door, please? Yeah. yeah. This, yeah. Okay. You look amazing, by the way. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> look, I know you think you're making a massive mistake. Uh, I think you're way too soft and forgiving, but I love you for it. And you can still come crying to me if and when Aiden dumps on you from a great time. <laughs> wow. You really warm me cockles, <laughs> you do. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, do you know what? I think I've left my phone in the car. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Hiya, it's Leah. Please leave a message. Uh, Lee, where are you? Aiden's come clean and she's marrying him for real, but I've just clocked Maria's here and well, I'm pretty sure she's not come to catch the bouquet. Just call me. We'll be right back after the news for round two of Mr. and Mrs. Weatherfield. Sponsored by News Co. Stay tuned. Can you not do that, mate? It's called branding. Congratulations and jubilations, quizzes. A valiant attempt. Probably useless. And my brain turns to mush. That's the beauty, stroke curse, of L-I-V-E radio. Lean in, quizzes. As Colin mentally flicks through his Rolodex of possible questions. Well, we wouldn't want to cheat, Colin. No, but uh, steering in the right direction will be welcome. Ah, where I steer you. My sat nav might read Destination Cheddar Gorge. But then again, it could have read Leicester. Oh, jeez, please, oh, Louise. It's, it's more like it. That's yeah. right, a fucking up. <laughs> then, as Colin leaves his two secret faves to smash it, he heads back over to the studio manager for classic bants. Yeah, so I might make it after all. Hey, but listen, don't say anything to Eva, will you? I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> All right, Kurt, you better get off. You're going to be late for Jenny and Johnny's, aren't you? What? What do you mean they swapped? Right, I'm going to have to go. Oh. Hey, uh, oh, I thought that was you. So, uh, Liam's rallied and you get to play out then? Yay. Yeah, look, Toya, I'm in a bit of a rush. Kurt just said that they swapped. Yeah, Jenny didn't want to leave Rita, so uh, it's all changed. Um, <sighs> oh, do you know what? This flipping eyelash. Uh, you couldn't get it out of me, could you? Uh, just, uh... Oh, hang on, I think I've got it. What are you doing? Toya! Toya, let me out, you <laughs> No chance, home wrecker. First, I just wish somebody would get married. Amen to that. You can't say I remember me. Oh, come on, little Eva. We're so over your fashionably late thing. Hey, she must have heard you, surely. Oh, can I look at her? Wow, what a belter. 
，从军。I do love him, you know. I know. Even when I hated his guts, I didn't stop loving him. So shut up and marry him. Your melon. Oh, right, that's nice. I'm the melon that schlepped all the way back for the dresses and that. I happen to love melons. You look sensational. Knock <sighs> okay. I mean, Neva scrubs up all right, don't get me wrong. But has she got pre Raphaelite tresses tumbling down her back? Redheads rule the world. <laughs> hey, come on, you best get cracking. I don't think we're going to get there on time, love. The cab company said it would take two hours. That's ridiculous! The lorry spilled its load on the motorway. Oh, well. Well, at least we get to stay here with you. Guys, just give me five minutes, yeah? I might be able to sort something out for you. Oh, really? What? Helicopter? Private jet? I'm working on it. International woman of mystery. <laughs> we'll not be going anywhere. Well, that sounds like chaos. We've swapped the weddings round. Traffic's gridlocked, apparently. I missed Aidan's now, anyway, I mean, I can't believe he didn't wake me. Well, you looked exhausted. I figured you needed the sleep. Well, I'll explain, but I feel terrible. Maybe we should just chill out here instead? No, we'll just wait for the traffic to die down. Hopefully, we'll still make Aidan's reception. Yeah, of course. <sighs> it's, uh, good that you and Robert have managed to salvage your friendship. Yeah. Look, Will, I hate lying. How do you mean? Well, me and Robert are still together. Right. It just seemed safer to tell people that we'd split up. It was Robert's idea. He just wants to protect me. Being banged up's killing him and me. And then finding that rose today. Look, I might be overstepping the mark, but... But I think you're safer here. I can keep an eye on you. No, no, I'll be fine. Come on, that sicko's not going to try anything in a crowd, is he? Won't mind a swift drink in the Rovers first, though. Touch of courage and all that. I'll just finish getting ready. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, he or she should declare it now. You don't need to dance around it for my benefit, Doctor. It's dementia, isn't it? We found a single lesion on your brain. What's that? A tumour. Mrs Tanner, I think your symptoms, lapses in memory and uncharacteristic behaviour, are almost certainly down to the tumour, which is putting pressure on the frontal section of your brain. So, I haven't got dementia? No, it isn't dementia. But there is a lump there, a, a tumour. I know it must be a shock. We'll know more when we've operated. When's that going to be? As soon as possible. 
We don't need to do it today, and we would rather you go home first. But we will do it within the next couple of weeks. Right, oh. The operation itself is risky, and there is a chance that the tumour is malignant. Cancer? We need to take it out and have a look at it on the microscope. There is a small chance that it could be something more aggressive, such as cancer. It's a lot to take in. Thank you, Doctor. You, you've been very helpful. I bet you haven't even had your lunch yet. <laughs> well, I can tell you're a trooper. And a lovely singer to boot, so I'm told. I'll see you soon. How on earth would she know that? No, lady, no waterworks. My Jenny will be getting wet just about now. Let's save the tears until there's something to cry for. It's either Richard Burton or, or, or the young Oliver Reed. I'm going to have to chivvy you, Norris. But she's potty about them both. Well, are you reading her correctly or is your prize about to go for a Burton? It's time to make your mind up, Norris Cole. Your wife's dream dinner date is... The young Oliver Reed. Yes, oh. correct. Spot on. Yeah. And here's a little Gilbert O'Sullivan. That's matrimony. We don't just throw this show together, you know. Hold on. Oh, I love this. Two frozen peas. How did you get on? Uh, your dream dinner date. My husband, that would be... The young Oliver Reed. <laughs> 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 Best beloveds, methinks it's in the bag. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Eva, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Excuse me, you need to stop. This wedding's a total sham. You wish. You can't marry her. Maria, it's too late, please. Go on. You should have heard me out, you, when you had the chance. Look, just leave it. Where's your pride, eh? Oh, yeah, you're in on it and all, aren't you? You're locking me in the back room because I know too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blimey. This is bang out of order. Listen, you lot, if any of these are bought and presents, you hope you kept the receipts. Here's like, Millie, sorry about this. You should just give us a minute. Look, sack this wedding off, but it's all right. You can marry Jenny and Johnny because they actually love each other. We love each other. Yeah, of course you do. You're too late, darling. You told me everything. And he said that you were the biggest mistake of his life. Yeah, well, they would say that, wouldn't they? What, were you being pregnant? Go home, Maria. There's nothing here for you. Even you deserve better than that. Come on, let's go. Get off me, Kirk. I don't need help and I don't need pity. I'm not the basket case here. She is. You know what, everyone? Just zone out of this nut job because we're about to get married. If you'd all like to just have a little look underneath your seats, you should have one of these. Ring any bells? Come on, sis, you're gonna regret this. Let's go and grab a coffee. Get off me, Kirk. I don't want a coffee. He broke my heart. He chose me. Yeah, only because of this. Your blushing bride has got a whole box of these, Aiden. It's a 12-week scan. So? Have a good look. She pulled it off the internet. See for yourself. Go to www.howsickcanyougat.com. In fact, better still, why don't you all Google it? It'll be the first image that comes up. What she's talking about? I'm sorry, Aiden. There is no baby. There never was. Tell me she's lying. Eva, tell me she's lying! <laughs> If you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com slash advice for support information. And Coronation Street's back Wednesday at 730 
Next, new drama Liar continues as Joanne Froggart's Laura receives menacing messages and Joanne Griffiths' Andrew is left reeling by her revelation. Why would you do this? I'm sorry. You were conned. <laughs> I did think I was pregnant. And then I took a test. And... Right, come on, you out. Get it off me. Let's see her explain her way out of this. You lied to me. <laughs> Maybe you two need to talk before this goes any further, yeah? I found out about you and Maria months ago. What? I knew you were sleeping with each other behind my back. And I wanted to hurt you as much as you hurt me. to be my best mate and the whole time you were sleeping with my boyfriend. How could you do that? Well, I never faked a pregnancy. I mean, that's just beyond cruel. That is pure evil. You better shut it or I will smash your face in. Come on then, bring it on. I don't know what you're trying to do here. But I don't want any of it. Aiden. Now just leave me. You happy now? You deserve this. <laughs> he said he slept with her when he was engaged to you, okay? Nobody blames you. I need to find Aiden. I need to make him understand. Eva, if anyone did that to me, I wouldn't take a pregnancy. I would have stabbed them <sighs> through the heart of Mr. Spike. Why do you add that to your wedding vows, eh? I like it. Revenge vows. Cheat and mate and you die. End of. Maybe we should phone Jenny. No. We're not going to spoil her special day for a little brain tumour. I happen they'll let me go home soon. Yeah. They're going to sort you out quick as a flash and you'll be right as rain in no time. <sighs> Oh, you sound like Alec Gilroy. Alec who? Oh, he was a right one. Forever chasing daft money-making schemes. <laughs> He's very good at cheering me up, though. Always painted a pretty picture. Usually when he was trying to pull the wool over my eye. I'm not painting a picture. Couldn't trust him. Who can you trust? I reckon half the people I fell in love with let me down at some stage. Maybe I fell in love with the wrong fellas. And there were a few. Mm -hmm. Not as many as Elsie Tanner. They all go, you know. I hate getting old. It's so cruel. Seeing friends slip away. Me and Mamie, oh, we used to be such pals. Now, we swap cards. Birthday and Christmas, that's it. Hey, you don't have to be like that. You can go and visit her. I can't visit Len. Or Fred. Or Alva. Or Tina. 
never had a child. In the end, it's me on my own. You're not on your own. You've got me and Jenny. You're so young. You've got your whole life ahead of you. And Jenny, she's going to wed... What's his name? What's his name? Johnny. Johnny, yes. Johnny, yes. I married a man with a brain tumour. It was called Ted. I loved him so much. I knew from the beginning what we were facing. I watched him over the months. I watched him shrink before my eyes. Hey, you listen to me. This is not the same. I don't know what happened with Ted, but you are going to be OK. You don't need to stay with me. I don't want you to go through that. I'm OK. I know what's coming. I'm all right on my own. Rita, I'm going nowhere. When did you find out she'd fake the baby scan? Yesterday afternoon. So you planned all this to wreck the wedding? I was in love with him, Kurt. He told me that he was going to leave her when I went to prison. Hey! You! Maybe we should go. I'm not scared of her. What? I am going to have you. Who's your money on tea? Oh, well, Eva's taller, so she's got the reach advantage, but Maria's got the hand speed. Eva does box size. And the only one that dress is going to soak up a lot of water. Mm, looks very absorbent. Lesson for us all there. Don't wear a wedding dress if you can have a cat fight in an ornamental tie. Attack! 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 Next round's on me. I'm not arguing. <laughs> Do you want another drink? Oh, I shouldn't remember. Oh, just hang on. I thought... <sighs> Hello? How come you're not at your sister's wedding? Mind your own business. How come you're not there? Oh, sorry. Right. Sorry. 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 Mm. Steve, I got your drink. Eh, uh, ta. Why is she not at Eva's wedding? It tells me anything. to be pregnant to punish Aiden for sleeping with Maria. Maria? Oh, baby. Maria? Where is he? I don't know. And he's not answering his phone. But is he all right? I have no idea. I've warned him how many times? We should go and find him. Well, it looks like a double cancellation. At least Rita's not missing anything. No. He's a big boy. He made this mess. I came here to get married. Are you serious? Yeah. Everyone's here. Let's do it. I love you. <laughs> right, everybody back inside. I'm getting married. Is she joking? <laughs> you heard me. Inside. Now. Okay. No, no, I'm a dad. George. 
You sure about this? I'll go in. You count to ten. And make a big entrance. Hey, I like bikers. Well, we're kind of making it up as we go along. So, Rita's not giving you away, then? Rita's not the best right now. But she insists I go ahead with it, you know, Rita. See, you've got nobody to walk you down the aisle, then. So, the last couple and the final round. Norris, whilst you had your headphones on, we asked Mary if she had to choose a cheese board for a romantic meal for you, which three cheeses would she choose? Well, <coughs> the, 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 the beer blue cheese. Oh. Uh, something like, well, uh, Stilton. Correct. Oh, and of course, a creamy, crumbly Lancashire. Oh, correct again. Just one more cheese and the big prize is yours. So what is the last chunk of cheese on the romantic board of love? Well, it, it, it would be a soft cheese. That... What's that? What's that noise? Whose phone's ringing? Oh, OK, we'll go to a break right there. Sponsored by News Co. And then Billy refuses to get into the fountain because he's wearing his best suit. Maria was having an affair with Aiden. Which is why she's wrecked the wedding, found uh, Eva's fake baby scan. Uh, right, what about the weekend of the second then? Um, you know what, I shouldn't really be in here. Can we take this to the cafe? All right, let me finish my drink. You knew, didn't you? You knew what Eva was up to, that's why you're not at the wedding. Nothing to do with me. What's this? You let Aiden believe that he was going to be a daddy, and all the time you knew it was just a plan to humiliate. Uh, uh, Aiden was sleeping with Maria. Oh, this is a new low, even for you. I'm going. Yeah, go on, that's it. Run away. Eva loved him, and he betrayed her with one of her mates. Oh, like you, you mean? You and Eva like using babies to torture people with, don't you, eh? You love watching people get all excited and then rip away the happiness just to watch them suffer. All right, that's enough. Truth hurts, done it. Hey! <sighs> Tells me anything about these parts. <laughs> this is the honeymoon suite. You're in the wrong room. Can we take a break? No, we can't take a break. Two minutes, quick coffee. It's the climax of the show. 20 seconds. We just need one more cheese. Well, yes, but... <laughs> if you answer that phone, I'll have no alternative but to disqualify you from the competition. Oh, please, you wouldn't do that. Don't forget, News Corp are sponsoring this. Oh, could I forget? Ten seconds. I have to answer this. Turn it off. Don't you tell him what to do. Norris? Turn that phone off now. <laughs> I hope Aiden's OK. He's a big boy. Right now, all I want is to get married to the woman I love. revenge. I know what I did was wrong. But... You were sleeping with my best mate for a year. I fell in love with two women. What? So you loved me, even though you were sleeping with her and lying to me every day? I didn't want to hurt you. Aidan, it has been killing me for months. Seeing the two of you together, seeing you smile when you got text messages from her, Disappearing for hours. I knew where you were. And I knew exactly what you were doing. So why not say something? Because I wanted to hurt you. Well, 
Mission accomplished. Because you really hurt me. You know, I had dreams of taking him to the football. <laughs> or taking her to the football. I don't think I've ever been happier. So it was the baby you wanted, not me. You could have just dumped me. You don't ripped up my suits or a tins of pie beer over me head. And you could have told me the truth. Had a little bit of respect. I thought I was going to be a dad. Gemma? Sorry about that, mate. I thought you'd abandoned me. Nah, the vending machine wouldn't take my money, right? So I give it a kick, and then all this liquid just starts pouring out. Tea? Yeah, but, like, mixed with coffee and I think a bit of tomato soup. Doesn't sound too refreshing. Ugh. Anyway... I've got a confession. You brought the machine. No! Well, yeah, maybe. But I've had a bit of a phone round. A what? You can come in now! <sighs> Hello, lovey. How are you? Oh, Dree. Hello, Rita. Again. And that's not all. Oh. Ta-da! Oh, is it stuffy in here? Is it just me? <laughs> we answered the call. <laughs> yeah, Gemma said you were allowed visitors. Well, she did say no more than two at a time, but... And she explained what the doctors said. So, how are you feeling? Oh, a lot better now you lot are here. <laughs> oh. I know some folk might think I'm daft. I didn't say anything. Will you let me do my vows? Sorry. But the truth is, I'm the luckiest man alive. Lucky to have such a gorgeous woman who's agreed to marry me. I know it's not been easy, and I know I can be a bit difficult, but I promise today I will do everything in my power to make you happy. Oh, that's lovely. Do you want to hear mine? I'm not sure. No, no, it's good. Go on, then. Well, um... I've been to some pretty dark places in my life. And it's only with the help of a few good people that I've come through the other side. And you're one of them. You stood by me and you supported me when nobody else would. You lifted me up and you made me feel special. You know, when she knew about me and you, Rita said, he's a good one. <laughs> he's kind, then he's special, and he'll look after you. <laughs> hey, come on, it's your wedding day. I know. I'm sorry. No, you're right. We can't do this without Rita. But she's in the hospital. Well, if she can't get here, then we'll have to go to her, won't we? Can we do that? We can do anything we want. <laughs> <laughs> I really did think I was pregnant for a bit. Now that you know you'd like a family, maybe we could try. What? Have a baby? How could I ever trust you again? I mean, how could you even trust me? No, that's what I'm saying. I know we're as bad as each other, but we could still be good together if that's what we want. Look, I told you the truth about me and Maria before the wedding. Why couldn't you tell me the truth? I still love you. <laughs> it just worked. No, it's not. I mean it. You could scream it from the rooftops and I still wouldn't believe you. Because you don't do the things you did to someone you love. I don't think I'll ever get past that. So this... This is over.
So, it seems they're getting married at the hospital so that Rita can be there. Ooh, what about the reception? According to Jimmy, they're making up as they go along. Why don't you come back to mine? I beg your pardon? See the new place. Oh, I don't know. I've got a nice bottle of red and uh, half a quiche. Wait, not half a quiche. Mm-hmm. Tempted now, aren't you? you said. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to show the world how much I love you. Are you completely nuts? I need you to believe me. Get back inside. No. No way. I'm going to do this. Shout it from the rooftops. And that's what I'm going to do. What do you think of the new place? Yeah, it's great. Have to give me the tour. Uh, yeah. The rest of the house is a bit of a mess, so uh, maybe another day. Eva, please, it's dangerous. I don't care. <laughs> I am going to prove how much I love you. But you can prove it on the ground. I want you to marry me. Get back inside. I mean, not right now. Obviously, we can reschedule. Babe, you don't have to be grand and lavish like this. We can get married in a, a pigging registry thing. Aidan Connor, will you marry me? I'm coming. Oh, I'm not sure this was a good idea. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Sophie, you've got it completely wrong. There's no pool here. Aiden! Sophie? Come quick, Eva's on the ledge. I think she's gonna jump. Don't panic. I can't Come move. to me. I can't move. Yes, you can. I'm gonna fall. But you're not gonna fall. How do you know you don't know that? Look, can I remind you this was your idea? Shout it from the rooftops, that's what you said. But I said I wouldn't believe it even if you shouted it from the rooftops. <laughs> this was such a bad idea. What is she doing up there? She's so distraught, she obviously wants to kill herself. Eva, don't do it! Oh, it's not worth it! Eva, don't jump! What are they saying? Well, they think you want to top yourself. What? Oi! I'm not trying to flip and kill myself, I want to get down! OK, look, calm down. I don't want to die! Right, I think we should fall on the fire brigade. Yeah, if, we, if we've had a big ladder... Hang on, I'll be back in the jiffy. Come on, come to me. I can't. I do love you. I know I'm not on the roof. No, never mind that. Just reach for my hand. I can't. It's, you're not going to fall. It's going to be OK. Come on. Come on. That's it. Keisha's ready. Ooh, wow. 
Make that yourself. <laughs> I am no chef, but I can make sure you never go hungry or thirsty. So you were just one question away from winning a round-the-world holiday. Well, what was the final cheese? Uh, brie. He finds camembert a little bit too sharp. You daft thing. Why didn't you answer the question and check your phone after? Because I was worried about you. Surprise! Jenny! <laughs> you should be at your wedding. Funny you should say that. Hi, Rita. Sorry to barge in. Yeah, we've got a bit of a mad plan. Can't get married without you. Excuse me, love. Do you know anything about this news agent? Am I right? It's run by Norris and Mary? Uh, it's Norris and Rita. Rita? But it's owned by Norris. Um, Norris owns the cabin, and then Rita, I think she owns the flat upstairs, but she's not around at the minute. She's ill in hospital. After a whole afternoon work, I think we deserve a little drink, don't you? What time is it? Four o'clock. No, it's okay. Really? No, not really. But I don't, I don't know. What do I say in the circumstances? Look, I, I can't do it. I'm going to have to rip it. Hey, don't you dare. Okay, then you'll have to take it off. Are you actually kidding me? Oh, so what did he say? He wants her to take a dress off. Yeah, there we go. What's that? Well, I always keep a spare dust sheet in the car. If we stretch out, we can catch him. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, the man's a genius. All right, come on, everyone, get in a circle, grab the sheet. Quicker, come on. I am not taking my dress off. What, well, do you want to spend all night out here? Aiden, I've got stockings on for you. What does that matter? Yes, it blooming well matters. What are you doing? spread out. I'm not sure this material's strong enough. Right, pull it out like a trampoline. Tell her to jump. Aiden, tell her to jump, we'll catch her. Aiden, it's a sheet. I'm going to hit the floor like a sack of spuds. Look, it's jump or ditch the dress. <sighs> Tell him not to look. Okay. She's going to take her dress off. Stay there just in case. But don't look. Yeah. Uh, that means you and all. I need to look up in case she falls so we know when to brace ourselves. Yeah, good point. Yeah, it's true, it's true. I'll just keep one eye on. Mm. I don't like this. Trust me. Watch my head. I think I've worked out what's really going on here. You're more upset about Maria than you're letting on, aren't you? Oh. Can't fool you, can I? Well, you know you'll find the right woman one day. I think you should move in here with me. <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, after everything that's happened, Robert in prison, the fact that there's someone out there who's determined to frighten you, well, there's plenty of space. Um, I won't be able to sleep knowing you're all alone in that flat. Listen, that is very kind of you. To be I... honest, I'm surprised you still live there. Steve on your doorstep, people attacking your workplace, breaking into your flat. Well, it must have an effect on you. Well, yeah, it does. Well, well I wouldn't do something about it, moving here with me. I can give you my spare key and I will text you the code to the alarm right the, now. There's no need to do right, that. You're scared. I can see it in your eyes. You'll be safe here. I guarantee it. Right, I've done a deal with the nurses, yeah? We've got two minutes. Two minutes? Well, it's the best I could do. All right, well, it goes for the fastest wedding ceremony ever. Well, if only I had that bridesmaid dress. Go. Mm -hmm. 
It's making me away again. My pleasure. You got the rings? I've done this before. I thought that was your job. They look so sulky. Well, I don't mind. Okay, thank you. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Jenny and Johnny. Do you take him? Yeah, I do. Do you take her? I do, too. Good, good. Now, anybody in here know of any reason why these two shouldn't be doing this? Uh, skip on. Oh, uh, 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 vows? I did them before. Uh, you did? Very nice. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, rings? I forgot which pocket I put them in. Oh, come on now, sir. I might have known the weakest link. Come on, Nurse Patrol will be coming any minute. Yeah, you should have done it. I can see that now. I've got the rings. Good man. Come on, keep going. Right, give me a... OK, right, um, with this ring I thee wed. <laughs> with this ring I thee wed. Come on, sprint, finish, yeah? Now, by the power vested, I now pronounce you man and wife. It is. <laughs> you may kiss the... <laughs> Look at you. What? You already look more relaxed. Yeah, I do feel a bit better. <laughs> no one knows you're here, so no one can get to you. Oh, yeah. Robert will be out soon, won't he? And then things can go back to normal. I don't know. Prison can change people. No, not Robert. Well, it didn't do much for Maria's state of mind. No, he's OK. That's because he assumes you're safe. Well, yeah, but... But if he thought you were in danger, then he might feel different. Stuck inside, unable to protect you. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to frighten you. <laughs> well, he did have me wondering for a minute. I just think if he really cared about you, he wouldn't have got himself locked up in the first place. He should have been thinking about you. Now, if I was in his place, I'd treat you like a princess. Oh, really? Well, you've always been a deaf romantic, haven't you? <laughs> Why? What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I wasn't, uh... It just mixed signals. Oh, I did not give you any signals. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. Please, can we just forget that? <sighs> We're friends, and... We really need a friend right now. So what's going on with you and Will? That's over. Did you dump him? Just had to be honest with him, Beth. I didn't want to string him along. I think maybe you've been a bit too honest today. What do you mean by that? Hey, let's not start rowing again now. Yeah, it's been a tough day all round. <sighs> Shame we're missing the food and drink. I skipped breakfast thinking we was going to get a good dinner at the hotel. Well, I hope things went a bit better for Jenny and Johnny. Me too. Everyone deserves to be happy. Why do you keep doing these things? I found a bottle of Rioca. Uh, why don't you put some music on? Check the shelf. I think there's a Best of James CD somewhere. Wouldn't mind a bit of a wallow in the past right now. All right, just one more drink then, yeah? I just need to get my head sorted. This has been such a crazy day. You found that CD yet? to worry about facing the guests. Everyone's heading back to the rovers. Thank you. You said you fell in love with two women. Yeah. What about now? <sighs> you ain't me. It was always you. But I can't forget what you did. Hey, he wanted to wreck not only just my wedding day, but my dad's and Jenny's as well. I thought like... they knew about you and Maria. Oh, did you really care? Oh, maybe it's my fault, but I don't recognise you anymore. I should go and see my no. dad. Can you not just phone him? We 
can talk. If we talk, we can... <laughs> I don't know. Just please don't leave me. Please. Keep it still. I don't like leaving you. Not now we know what the doctor said. Don't be daft. You can't have a wedding without a drink. And they're all back at the Rovers waiting for you. What about your drink? Hey, happen we can sneak you in a vodka and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Are you sure? I'm just a bit tired. I think it's the excitement. We'll come and see you tomorrow. Yeah, well, we probably should be going too, but I think we exceeded the maximum permitted visitors. Yeah, and then some, eh? Me too. Oh. Sure you're okay? I'm not going to let this thing beat me. Now, come on, you lot. Off you go and have a really lovely time at your wedding party. Bye, Rita. Bye, Rita. Bye, Rita. Bye, Rita. See, Bye. You. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. I'll see you then. Bye. Thank you. I think we've got nearly all the confetti. Well, I know you were behind them coming here to get married. Well, that's where you're wrong. Can't take the credit there. I was as gobsmacked as you when they walked through that door. Really? People love you, Rita. You will never, ever be on your own. <laughs> to be honest, I was disappointed. We was ready. She'd have dropped with a car. Yeah, but then there was no need, cos Aidan saved her. Oh, my hero. Well, I won't go that far. <laughs> In dragging her through the wind in her undies. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Kirk and Beth can barely bring themselves to look at me. Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. I make more than most, though, don't I? Yeah, no one's arguing there. I'm amazed you've not heard all about it. I've been with a client all day. Some of us have to work. I still can't believe she was ready to marry him after what he did. Attention for a minute, please. Uh, Johnny and Jenny wanted to let you all know they got married in the hospital with Rita. Oh. Yeah. And they also wanted to let you know that all the drinks here are paid for until further notice. Yay! 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 Yeah. Jenny and Johnny! Yeah. About the tonic. I'm never going love them. Four, yeah, four pints. I just feel a bit sick, that's all. After all you've been through, I don't think you need me jumping in with both feet. <laughs> it's not bad. Well, you just need a bit of time, that's all. I think I better go. Yeah, you can have as much time as you like. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I probably just need to go home and think about everything. Yeah, but it won't be safe, though. It will. I'll be fine. You need me to look after you. Honestly, I just need to call a cab. I feel like I'm losing you. You're not losing me. You're not. All I want is to look after you. Now you do. Can I have a bit of quiet, please? For the entrance of the happy couple, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Connor. Woo! Uh, can I just say a few words? I'm sorry for running out on you all back at the hotel. Today's not exactly gone as planned, but it couldn't be more special for me and Mrs. Connor. <laughs> and I hope you'll all stick around and celebrate with us. And you can drink the pub dry because we're paying. And now. I'm going to kiss the bride. Oh. oh, I love a happy ending. Hey, well, when you think where Jenny was a few years ago, I mean, her and Kev, that were crazy. Oh, she deserves a bit of happiness. Honey, everybody deserves a bit of happiness, right? Oh, and I thought I was the big softy. But mark my words, there's going to be some changes happening very soon. What do you think? What changes? Well, the new Mrs. Connor. She's going to want to have her say and stuff, isn't she? Oh, don't be daft, Mr. Connor. No, she's not qualified. I don't know. I reckon he might be right. My, my words. There's going to be some big changes at that factory tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what we're talking. I don't know that it's tough. Hey, but it's your day. Just tell Kate I'm okay. We'll see what happens. You OK? Yeah! Made you a cup of tea. Thank you. Maybe we can do this. Do you really mean that? I don't know, but I think we should try. Oh, babe. If 
If we can, I'll do anything. Stay away from the window. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. They're talking. You're looking a bit tired. I'm happy. Hey, listen, Jenny and I are going to get off. Uh, let you youngsters get on with the party. Make our excuses, eh? We've not had a chance to congratulate you. Oh, and welcome to the family. <laughs> Come on. Some new conquests you're chasing. Looks like the one who got away. Well, it's not like you to give up. I grow more proud of you every day. Oh, yes, there's no need to go on about it. <laughs> oh, hello again. Hello. Ah, good. I thought I might have found you in here. I've got some news that might just make your day. <gasps> I don't believe it. They've changed their mind. We we've won the top prize. No, I'm afraid you're still disqualified. Uh, frankly, we, we don't care. Well, now, I should, by rights, be angry with you because Colin only ever backs a winner, but you're in luck because I think we can all be winners. Huh? I want to buy your shop. It'll be the start of Colin's new empire, a string of news agents across the Northwest that will rival News Co. <laughs> I don't think so. Look at this face. This face wants your shop. How can you refuse this face? Cash deal, no strings, what do you say? I say no. No way, no deal. Never. Thank you. Yeah, well, you said ten past. It's half past now. Right, two minutes, thanks. OK, bye. Do you look a little pale? Oh. I just wanted to check your temperature. You are a little hot. Maybe I should come back with you. No, it's... No, there's no need. Uh, please, uh, don't lie to me. I'm not. I, w I won't. <sighs> That's my taxi. I best not keep him waiting. Uh, just a minute. Call me when you get home. I want to know that you're OK. I will, will you? I'll always be there for you. See. Well, I hope it's not more secret stumbling out the corner closet. Oh, no. No. We're a team, you and me. And I think it's telling me I had a bit of a staff reshuffle. You can do so much more than stitch knickers. I want you by my side permanently. At the top. I won't let you down. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is where we did our courting. Well, we did a lot more than courting. I still remember how hard that store cupboard floor was. Well, those days are behind us now. This is as much yours now as mine. Come on, I want to carry you over the threshold. Yeah, have you forgotten about your Annette? You give me strength. <laughs> Sweat of my feet! <laughs> If you drop me, I am starting divorce proceedings. I won't drop you. <laughs> Welcome to our future. No. And the great news is we've got two episodes of Coronation Street every Wednesday from now on. But next tonight here on ITV, our favourite grumpy medic's back. Martin Clunes returns to the seaside surgery for the brand new series of Dot Martin in just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs>